pretty strange that we keep running into each other. It is strange. Maybe it means something. I doubt it. Yeah, I don't think so. Where's my car? This is Peter Rosenthal, head film critic for The Onion. Today, I'll be looking at La La Land, a romantic comedy drama starring Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone that only became a musical after the first cut of the film, one devoid of any songs to accompany the lavish dance sequences, received middling reviews from test audiences and had to be revised. Set in Los Angeles, La La Land tells the story of struggling jazz pianist Sebastian, an aspiring actress, Mia. Their love affair, amidst the trials of making it in Hollywood, features dazzling choreography that truly spreads its wings, thanks to writer-director Damien Chazelle's decision in a flash of inspiration to replace the total silence of earlier cuts with music. As a result of Chazelle's stunning aha moment, instead of a lively but forgettable romp, we have a cinematic treasure. Let's look at the iconic planetarium scene in which Sebastian and Mia literally float up to the top of the Griffith Observatory to waltz among the stars. Here it is in the first version of the film. It has its charms, no doubt, but here is that exact same scene set to the lush orchestral ballad Planetarium, composed by Justin Horwitz. Amazingly, one last-minute change truly makes all the difference. Or take, for example, the original cut of the tap duet that transpires between Sebastian and Mia as they stroll to their cars at sunset. Here it is with the breezy big band arrangement, A Lovely Night. And it's not just the dancing that benefited from a soundtrack. It's the musical performances as well. The fact that they're playing actual music transforms a bland, run-of-the-mill scene into something truly unforgettable. With the help of this one eureka decision by the filmmakers, La La Land has netted 14 well-deserved Oscar nominations, including two for Best Original Song. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for films like Manchester by the Sea, which attempted to replicate La La Land's success to far less captivating effect. For The Onion's Film Standard, I'm Peter Rosenthal.